All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who saw my Friday video, you know we ended on a comment from Dobar Starry Kuhar. I like the way that name just like rhymes, rolls off the tongue. So he had said, man, really I get depressed a lot. Thank you for cheering me up. I mostly watch your channel because you have an addictive positivity. So I really like that comment. And I know it is something I think a lot of people deal with and something I have actually dealt with in my life too at several different points, you know. And so I thought I would try to maybe give a little bit of insight and just my own perspective on the whole issue, you know, dealing with things like depression, anxiety, stuff like that. So hang tight, guys. We're going to be replying to Dobar's comment today on Indoor Smokers. But all right, Dobar, I really do appreciate the comment. I think there are a lot of other people out there who, you know, could definitely sympathize with that and who also relate with the same kind of issues and things. So it does take a brave person to put themselves out there, I think. So I appreciate the comment. I appreciate you bringing that to our attention and giving us that transition to kind of touch on a topic like this. As you get older, you kind of understand that life comes in phases. You get a little bit more perspective on the ebbs and flows and the way, you know, the ups and downs basically of life. When you're younger, you move into a bad phase in your life, a bad breakup or a divorce, you know, lose a job, a few things happen, and you feel like, this is my fucking life now. This is what I got, you know? It's like I transitioned into this phase. I had all these good things at one point, and now I got shit. It's not worth living. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what, you know, my hopes and dreams were. But the fact is, this isn't a transition into what your life is now. It is just a phase. Everything in life comes with the good times and the bad times. I like to analogize it to river rafting. And the fact is when you're in the rapids, there's always some sense of comfort in knowing that there's gonna be calm water coming ahead because no river is all rapids, no river is all calm. So when you're in the calm water, there's almost an angst knowing that around one of these bends, you're gonna hit some rapids again. But the fact is all you can do is fucking paddle and fight through the rapids and then relax and enjoy the calm time until you hit the next one. There are things you couldn't even imagine right now that are going to happen in your life that are going to come along. People, business opportunities, you know, different hobbies, different interests, technologies coming along. I mean, in my own life, I went through a phase exactly like that, a very depressed stage. After my divorce, I was working at a nonprofit and basically, you know, not getting anywhere. I didn't have any kind of real opportunities or anything I could see clearly. Then this YouTube thing came along, man, and fucking 10, 15 years ago, there wasn't even, YouTube didn't even exist for me to see this as a potential future for myself. So there are things out there, man, that you can't even imagine now they're going to come along in your life and you are going to have the best of times still coming and you're going to have some more low times that are still coming. But if you can just really learn to appreciate and enjoy the good times and learn how to resign yourself and get through the tough times, then you're going to be able to make it in this life, man. The key is you can just never give up. You can never just think this is the finale. I always like this line from the movie Lawrence of Arabia. So I don't know how many of you have seen this movie, but I'm sure a few of the boomers have. But anyways, a great movie. But Lawrence is sitting at a bar with some other military people around him and he lights a cigarette with a match. And after he lights it, he puts it out with his fingers like that and puts it down. And so he's talking with the other military guys and one of these guys behind him kind of sees him do it and he gets curious. So you kind of see the guy back there light a match as well and then puts it out with his fingers and he goes, ow, that fucking hurts. And then Lawrence looks at him and goes, of course it hurts. And the guy says, well, if it hurts, what's the trick? And Lawrence says, the trick is not minding that it hurts. And I think sometimes with life, getting to a point where you just don't mind as much because you know you had good times in the past and even if you're missing things, the reason you're missing them is because you had them. But either way, the fact is, that you're gonna get through this phase. And if you can get through it without minding that it hurts as much, then a lot of times that is gonna be the key to just enduring through those hard times and getting to the positive, uplifting, you know, good times in your life again, which are coming, I guarantee it. You know, a lot of times life is gonna beat you down. You just can't get around that fact. You know, but there are fighters out there, man, who take a beating better than anybody, and that's what's made him great, man. Ali was one of those, too. And just like in the movie Cool Hand Luke, if you remember the scene, for those of you who've seen it, again, the boomers, I'm sure, are well familiar 
when he ends up having to fight the biggest, baddest guy in the prison who calls him out, and basically they got to go out into the ring on Saturday. And there's no way. Everybody's like, dude, he's twice your fucking size. He's way bigger and stronger. And there's no way you can beat this guy. And sure enough, they get in the ring. The guy's pummeling him. He's beating him down, beating him down. Everybody's laughing, having a good time. This guy's getting his ass beat. But then the guy starts knocking him down three, four, five times, you know? And people start to be like, fuck, dude, you're just getting your ass beat, man. Just stay down. What's the point, you know? But he keeps getting back up, keeps getting fucking knocked down. After about eight, nine, ten times, now people are almost starting to get disgusted with it, dude. And they're just like, fuck, man, just stay the fuck down. You're taking enough of a beating already, you know? He keeps getting back up. Finally, looks at the dude he's fighting and says, you're going to have to kill me. And that's the bottom line sometimes. Is that man across from you willing to kill you? There may be no question he's better than you and that he can beat you, but is he willing to kill you? And in this case, he wasn't. So the last man standing in that ring was Luke. And the fact is he didn't have to beat the guy. He just had to refuse to be beaten. So don't ever give up. Don't ever give him that. If life is beating you down, look life in the face and tell it it's going to have to fucking kill you. Because otherwise, you're going to persevere and you're going to keep fucking going and you are going to get to that calm water. I guarantee that, man. Just keep fucking rafting. I don't know, I'm, I'm mixing my metaphors now for sure. Just keep getting up. That's the key in life sometimes. The other guy's going to give up first. I do see a lot of comments these days about people dealing with depression and anxiety and of course like I said I've had phases in my life where I've dealt with both where both have sometimes been more difficult than others to manage and to deal with but it always comes back around there is always an ebb and flow and like I said I've just kind of learned to have confidence in that because it's not always something you can even predict or something that even necessarily exists right now but it's around one of those bends and it's coming But all right, guys, thank you so much. As always, it is greatly appreciated having you guys hang out with me. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel. Ring the little bell so you get notification when the videos go up. If you like this type of video, if you'd like to see me do some more of these uh, Motivational Monday miscellaneous type um, videos on these topics, then please give us a thumbs up. That's how I can kind of gauge you know how much interest we have in stuff I'm doing. Other than that, you guys just have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys right back here on the next one. Peace.